welcome back. We're just getting warmed up, so stick with us. New light is being cast on the FBI's efforts to investigate the Trump campaign. John Solomon's latest piece in the Hill newspaper details internal bureau memos about the pressure applied to Justice Department investigators and their effort to get a warrant on former Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. An email exchange between infamous FBI agent Peter Strzok and his lover Lisa Page from October 14th of 2016, just a few weeks before the election, shows their desire to create talking points for then FBI Deputy Director Andrew Andy McCabe to help secure that warrant. One email from Strzok reads in part, and I quote, at minimum, that keeps the hurry the F up pressure on McCabe. And believe it or not, that is just the tip of the iceberg. Joining us now with reaction is Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. Tom, thanks for joining us this morning. We buried the lead on this one. I'm going to put another quote up from Peter Strzok. This is from September 26th of 2016. He said, and as a pretext, he said this, and I quote, at a minimum, the letter, the letter that, that uh, Carter Page wrote provides us a pretext to interview him, pretext is code for an excuse to interview Carter Page. How explosive is all this? Oh, it's further confirmation that the Trump Russia investigation was infected by this hyper political bias against President Trump, where they're looking for excuses to target his team. You had uh, Page write a letter complaining about an improper FBI leak, and the response from one of the top FBI officials. Well, let's use this as an excuse to bring him in and interview him. And then they follow that up with the infamous FISA warrants, which were supported, uh, which would never have been approved, but for their reliance on the Clinton DNC dossier. Mm -hmm. And then uh, another aspect of this, which uh, is also in Solomon's piece, is that right after the election, they are talking about yes. the day after the election, President Trump's elected, they focus on well, we have to get all the people tied to Paul Manafort and compare notes and figure out what we're going to do there. Well, they so Paul Manafort is being targeted not because of anything he did wrong, but the trigger is President Trump's election. Paul Manafort, by the way, right now is in solitary confinement. Yes. You know, President Trump should really think about ordering his Justice Department to at least shut this Mueller investigation down or pause it, given all the corruption in its, uh, it's in its formation in uh, the FBI in 2016. You're referring to an email from Struck to Page where they said we need all of their names to scrub and we should give them ours for the same purposes. Scrubbing at the election, never a good look. Carter Page was actually on this network a couple of hours ago on Tucker's program speaking for himself. Listen to what Carter Page said. Do you expect that you're going to be charged with anything after all of this? Tucker, I couldn't even imagine anything that I could potentially be charged with. I, it's just... You know, particularly after seeing John Solomon's article today, it just becomes, you know, the whole, you know, as the, using the term from that uh, quote you, you had, pretext, the pretext was absolutely outrageous, ridiculous. So they found a pretext, then they surveilled the guy for a year. That doesn't, that sounds like a guy that seems pretty confident they didn't find anything. This was, a, was this indeed the witch hunt the president accuses uh, Carter Page was a cooperating informant with the FBI and Strzok knew that. That's why they used the phrase pretext. And the spying on Carter Page was a convenient vehicle uh, to get at the Trump operation. And who knows what other FISA mm -hmm. warrants and applications were uh, corruptly uh, sent over to the court as well. Carter Page isn't going to be prosecuted. Uh, there is no Russia collusion. And the only collusion that we're aware of with respect to Russia is Hillary Clinton using yeah. Fusion GPS to gather Russia intelligence to smear Donald Trump. Uh, Mueller uh, ought to be investigating how his investigation started if he's looking for Russia collusion. Tom, help us for a second, though. According to the most recent statement of expenditures, Mueller's operation is ramping up. Uh, what, what does that say to you? Oh, well, there, there are no controls over Mueller, practically speaking. Not only does he have all of these other lawyers he's hired, all of which are uh, registered Democrats, no registered Republicans. He's actually going into the Justice Department and, as needed, using other resources informally. So that budget is just uh, a pretend number because the Justice Department's at Mueller's beck and call, mm. an out-of-control investigation that is uh, uh, really abusive in its targeting and of not only President Trump, but people around him. Wow, I, I love, I don't know about you, but I love pretend numbers. They're my favorite. Tom Fitton, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Hey, you're welcome, Peter. You got it.